And catalytic converter theft is on the rise in the state of Alabama. And according to police, an average of 20 converter thefts have been reported daily. Decatur City Schools, the latest victim of that crime. And police say that that rash of thefts hitting the area is just the latest in a crime wave across Alabama. And News 19's Archie Snowden joins us now in the studio. Archie, you've been following this story. Absolutely, Madison. And the theft has been going on for years with the city of Decatur has been the latest hotspot. Now, depending on the vehicle, the theft will fetch more than $350 for each converter, but if it's stolen from your vehicle, it can cost thousands of dollars to replace it. That's what they're trying to steal. Tom Clem of Clem Tire and Service in Huntsville has been fixing cars for 48 years and knows the value of having a working catalytic converter in the vehicle. It cleanses the the uh, unburned fuel that's going out through the uh, tailpipe of the of the uh, uh, through the exhaust system of a of a vehicle keeps from polluting the atmosphere so much. But when thieves decide to rip them off of the vehicles, there's a lot of inconvenience to people uh, to try to get them replaced. And this guy knows that all too well. Check out this video sent to us from Decatur City Schools. In broad daylight, this wayward technician scaled a seven-foot fence to steal catalytic converters from the school's system vehicles. The suspect, according to our uh, video cameras, were underneath uh, each vehicle about 30 seconds. And that's how long it took this thief to steal this valuable part from the Ford F-250 that has two converters just this past weekend. The reason behind the theft? The metals inside the converters are worth a lot of money. The catalytic converter is designed to break down pollutants in a vehicle. The metals, palladium and platinum, is what makes the converter so valuable. We've noticed the rash of thefts. The, the one Saturday with several businesses around us, we were just fortunate to have uh, surveillance cameras uh, that caught some good pictures. So we're hoping that someone in the community will do the right thing and help not only the school system, but other businesses in Decatur identify these individuals. Now, our authorities say to try to get a license plate number etched into the catalytic converter to try and park it well in well-lit areas and install an anti-theft device on the converter to help foil that theft.